This was the dawn of a new era in Halifax. In a meeting last night, city councillors deemed the Donaire the city's official food. The Mediterranean-inspired dish features spiced meat, veggies, and a sweet sauce wrapped in a pita. In a city known for seafood, this decision was not without controversy. Mayor Mike Savage had to cast the deciding vote, breaking a 7-7 tie. Well, who better to talk to us about this than the owner of King of Donair, one of the iconic Donair shops in Halifax, and uh, Norman Nahas joins us now. For people across the country, the uninitiated, what is it that makes the Donair so special? Well, Leanne, I'll give you a demonstration. The Donair is the perfect mix of all five food groups. Um, it, it's born in Halifax in this exact building, and uh, Halifax is known for its Donair uh, mix of meat, our local Halifax Donair sauce, onion and tomato, and uh, pita bread. All right, so we see you holding it in your hand there, but uh, maybe the camera operator can zoom in a little bit and you can explain to us. I mean, it, it just looks like a, like a bunch of stuff inside a pita, but it's a lot more special than that. It is, yes. It's Halifax's official food as of yesterday. So uh, Halifax is uh, known for many great things, and uh, now we can officially say that the Donair is its official food. Now, the city council, it took the mayor to break the tie yesterday to name it the official food. Why was the vote so close? You know, people are passionate about uh, the Donair here in Halifax, and there's always controversy with anything. And uh, unlike anything else, this one was right down to the wire. It ended up in a 7-7 tie, and, and uh, Mayor Savage cast the final vote to deem it the uh, official food. And... Everybody has their opinions on things, and uh, some people were, were hell-bent against it, and some were so passionate that this is a, a great benefit to the city to deem it the official food uh, for marketing purposes, for tourism, as a sense of pride and, and uh, its origins here right in Halifax. Well, for journalistic balance, I need to ask you, what was the argument against the Donair? Well, we're on the coast here, so some people thought there should be a seafood argument for it, and others didn't think that it was something that should be within the mandate of council. But council has uh, spent a lot of time on a lot of serious issues, and from snow to, uh, to streets, and they thought this would be a, a nice gesture that would, uh, that would carry us far and wide across the country, and I'm optimistic that it's doing so. And, and, and over the years, the Donair has been in the hands of some pretty interesting people. In fact, you've served uh, some fairly famous uh, people. Uh, tell us about that. Yes, well, when people come in that are real foodies, uh, the first thing they want is to have a Donair, and they always come here to get the, the original one. And just last year, I ended up serving one to Anthony Bourdain, who was quite anxious to get one when he came to Atlantic Canada. And uh, I, just a you know, purely academic question, I'm kind of curious, do you... Do you ship them to, let's say, the other side of the country? Uh, we don't ship them, but we're working on shipping ourselves across the other side of the country this year. And, and Norman, one last question. Uh, I can occasionally see over your left shoulder, screen right, what looks like a king of Donaire. What, what's, what's that all about? Um, that's our new mascot. That's uh, Don the Donaire. He had his first official Donaire today, and um, he's the king of Donaire mascot. And, just and unveiled just today. Hiding, lurking in the background while you do TV interviews. Uh, fair enough. Hey, all right, hey, uh, hey, Norman, thank hey, you very much. All for, over the place. Thank you very much for speaking with us, and congratulations on, on your food, thank the you Donaire much, yeah. being named uh, the official food of Halifax. Thank you. Love to have you down here to have another one. For sure.